Big George came to his coaching session last time, and uh, it was a really great experience. Uh, helped me out as an entrepreneur, to help further my business and even my personal life. And uh, some things I learned in his last coaching session were the charismatic uh, closing, which uh, he mentioned the three C's of closing, which were concern, cred uh, common experience, and credibility. So uh, those are some things that are really helping me out in my life right now. So appreciate you, George. Definitely come check his coaching sessions out. They're great. What up, world? It's your boy, George Anthony, a.k.a. Big G Anthony, and welcome to this week's Massive Action Mindset. This week, my guest is Chris Cadet. He's going to talk about his business, his uh, being an author, and how he got into the line of entrepreneurship that he's in uh, this week. But what, we, what I want you guys to do is to remember, if you're on Facebook, to like and share. Actually, create a watch party with this so people who are out here that need to hear the nuggets that we're going to drop here today, they can see and be able to reach out and see this broadcast. If you're on YouTube, make sure that you subscribe, click the bell and notification so that you know that we're going on. Again, my name is George Anthony. I'm the host of Massive Action Mindset. Just a little bit behind me, what I don't do all the time. You know, I've been in law enforcement for a little bit over 20 years. And I decided at one point in my career that, you know what, I have to start feeling stuck and unfulfilled. And I wanted to go out here and, and create something of my own. Even though being in law enforcement had provided me a, a, a lifestyle that, that, you know, I could provide for my family, I had hit a wall, you know, Chris, to where, you know, I just felt that, you know, there was more out there for me. So, there was more out there for me. Don't worry about it, man. We'll be able to put it back up here. There's more out there for me. And and I, I just felt that I had to go out here and achieve something. So I started looking for things, started with personal development, started doing things to build George Anthony and, and, and broaden and open my mind when it comes to entrepreneurship and how to create passive income. You know, because the only way that you're going to get financially free is create something of your own. We have residual bills, so we have to start looking at how we can create residual income. So with that being said, man, I want you to introduce yourself to everybody out here and let them know who you are, what you do, and, 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 and you know, the mindset that you had to, to come about to get you in the line of the work that you're in right now. Okay. I'm, not, I'm going to try not to give away too much just to start out. But yeah. um, What's up, everybody? First of all, I want to say thank you for having me. It's a pleasure, and I'm definitely excited to be here. My name is Chris, Christopher Cadet. It's my full name, but I'm well. I'm mostly known as Chris Cadet. Um, I was born and raised here in West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, son to uh, two Haitian immigrants who came here in search of a better life. Mm -hmm. Mother and my father, um, the youngest of five siblings, and I am a loan originator, a loan officer. I like to call myself a real estate entrepreneur because I do a little bit of everything within the real estate space. Okay. I am a licensed realtor, but I don't actively practice anymore. I actually started as a realtor. Mm -hmm. um, now I originate loans and I help people get financing for homes and investment properties. Okay. So that's like my primary source of income right now. So in terms of like an actual business, I have a business which is C Cadet Holdings. Mm -hmm. We're constantly looking for uh, real estate opportunities, fix and flip, buy and hold, uh, wholesaling opportunities. Um, but I'm mostly a loan originator, a loan, okay. loan officer. Okay. Um, a mortgage banker that helps people get financing homes and investment properties. That's my number one thing I do. And I'm just constantly trying to grow, like you said, man, trying to get better, trying to challenge myself. It's because I know that's what life's about, you know, getting out of your comfort zone and, and, and just striving for more. You know, I, I, I've, I've been blessed with an opportunity to be born here in America and be born, in, born into the situation that I'm in. And it's just, it would be a disservice to myself and the creator for me not to push myself and try to maximize my gifts and my talents with what I have. And there's people that would do anything to be in my situation, but you know, they're not. So I'm here and I just try to constantly just try to get better and better and provide as much value as possible and just give back, you know? Right. Well, well, let's talk about that. When it comes to the value and you're you striving to get better and better, what type of thing, what type of road that you, that you walk, that you start down uh, when it comes to material or things that you look for to grow and expand your mind and step outside that comfort zone? What type of things do I look for? Yeah, you know, like when it comes to literature, books, videos, mentorship, all oh, the yeah. individuals that you follow. Uh -huh. Yeah, so YouTube is big for me, man. YouTube, <laughs> YouTube probably saved my life, man. <laughs> because, I mean, 
it's gonna kind of segue into how I got into mine. No problem. Okay, go ahead. Go so ahead. YouTube has been one of the biggest things, but of course I have uh, mentors, virtual men, a lot of virtual mentors. Exactly. Um, con uh, the company that I work for, I have like top producers that I'm constantly learning from. Books, mm -hmm. you know, reading a lot of self development books. Um, just to name a few, like Thinking Grow Rich, just off the top of my head, Thinking Grow Rich, mm -hmm. uh, The University of Success by Al Mendino is a, is a big, big one that really um, opened up my mind. The autobiography, the autobiography of Malcolm X really inspired me, man. That book really, really inspired me. And I read that book every year on his birthday. Mm -hmm. Every year I read it. Um, uh, let's name a few more. Um, some of Robert Greene books, I like Robert Greene books, they're very interesting. Mm -hmm. like the 50th Law, him or uh, 50 Cent Road, mm -hmm. um, 48 Laws of Power, um, very good book. There's so many I could name. Uh, let's see, we got The um, the Alchemist is a great book. Yes. Yeah, the Richest Man in Pamulon. So this, <laughs> this goes on and on, it's a bunch. But I'm constantly, any, any way I could just grow and learn, I'm constantly seeking to grow and learn. Well, that's what, you know, that's what this show is all about. You know, this is, uh, you know, I call it Massive Action Mindset because, you know, um, the majority of us, we, we get stuck in, in, in situations and circumstances and we don't know what actionable steps we need to go out and take because we're constantly, um, some of us, uh, in, my, in my opinion, uh, analysis by paralysis. You know, we're constantly learning. You know, we're constantly looking for, all right, you know, how do I do this and how do I do that? And once you start acquiring all the, uh, all the knowledge, you know, it, it, it sometimes stagnates you, yeah. you know. And from what I've learned from some of my virtual mentors is just that, you know, yeah, get the knowledge, but also take action, That's right. you know, because you, you fail through learning, mm -hmm. you know. And, and most people look at failure as such a bad thing. That's right. Instead of looking at it as, hey, shoot, you know, when we learned how to walk as toddlers, you know, we had to fall to get back up, to fall to get back up. If we would have had the same mindset that we have now, that, oh, shoot, I fail, I bumped my knee, I hurt myself, we probably be crawling through life. That's right. If, but, hold on, let me go back here because I'm about to drop a nugget. The majority <laughs> of us right. are crawling through life. That's right. Because we're not taking those steps to better ourselves. And that comes from personal development. It comes from expanding your mind. It comes from going out here reading different books. And and you know, it's not even with you know what you say YouTube. You know, this is what I tell people. You know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you know, I'm older, you know, 46, you know, 30 years ago, you had to go to a library. You had to get those books to learn everything. So now, in my opinion, there's no excuse. That's right. Because you carry around a computer in your hand. 24 hours a day, you're on that computer the majority of the day on social media. That's right. You should be pulling up YouTube videos. You should be Googling things that are, that, that helps you expand yourself, you know? Right. And, uh, you know, that, that, that's my biggest thing. I, I know that once I started reading uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, oh, yeah, too. Yeah, I, I uh, you know, How to Win Friends and Influence People, mm -hmm. You know, actually, I just started reading another uh, or a relationship book because I'm trying to better myself and set a better foundation. It's called Fireproof, mm -hmm. and it is more of a, a, a I guess, a Christian-based type of uh, book. But when it comes to, uh, on how to set a foundation on on relationships and and making sure that you move forward from this point of uh, from this point on how to communicate, how to develop yourself, you know, what to look for, how to be appreciative, and those types of things. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent, man. So it happens, man. <laughs> how does, it, when you're passionate about something, you keep going, but it's, it's good energy, and I like it. Yeah, it's, it's so that, and that's the whole thing, too, you know, energy, you know, when I, when I uh, uh, that's another big thing that, that, that I'm into, you know. Last week, we had a guest out here, his name is Chris Williams, he's a uh, speaker, um, author, uh, such as yourself. And, and you know his his big thing is positive energy That's right. and you know the conversation that we had last week and the energy that that was brought in, I'm talking about it was just off the charts talking, you know but even right now you know when, when it comes to speaking to you now I mean, you can feel that you know the energy level rising and you know that all the positive energy is going back and forth because you're around people that, that has that same frequency, that wants to learn, that wants to grow, that wants to put information out there. Mm -hmm. And again, the show is about you guys. The show is about providing value for you guys. The show is about bringing individuals on here that's out here doing it. Mm -hmm. So that you know that there's a uh, that, that you can do it yourself and you can reach out to individuals that are actually out here doing it. So, right. 
go ahead, man. I'm, I'm sorry, man. You can go out the sort of books and mentorships. Some of your virtual mentors. So who's giving some of the virtual mentors you listen to? My virtual mentor is a guy by the name of Mr. Jay Morrison, and he's and when I when I talked about the YouTube thing, and I said that YouTube saved my life, mm -hmm. he's the one that actually got me into. He inspired me to get into this industry okay. by learning about. Because I was one day I was just on YouTube. I was probably looking up like some music or something, listening to music, and mm -hmm. I ran across this video, and the video was was of him in like a hotel room teaching these ex drug dealers how the real estate game is similar to the drug game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So me at the time, I'm gonna be honest, you know, I'm just in Canada, I was selling drugs at that time. Mm -hmm. I was in the street selling drugs, making good money, and I always had a point in my life where I felt like, I always felt like I could do anything I put my mind to, just mm -hmm. always, you know, and I credit my parents, of course, too. Mm -hmm. Like, through two separate households, they just, they showered me with love. Mm -hmm. Between five kids showered me with love. My dad always, you know, he always had confidence in me, no matter how bad things were, no matter how much we were struggling. He always just, he put the right values in me, mm -hmm. my right morals in me. Just, just a really, really good dude. So me, I always had the confidence that I can do anything I wanted to do. So at that point in my life, I just felt like, you know, I was influenced to get into the game with my brothers. I have two brothers in there, both, and all my cousins there, they're all in the streets. Mm -hmm. And my oldest brother did uh, 11 years in prison. Mm -hmm. my, my second oldest brother, he just got out of actually a nine year prison. Bin. So me growing up, uh, my oldest brother was always, he was locked up, he got locked up when I was like eight years old. So he was locked, he was locked up like most of my adolescent life. But I, you know, my my other brother that was in the streets, I was he was like my he was like my hero, you know what I mean? Because like he lived the life, he was like this lifestyle that I thought was cool. Yeah. You know, he had the money, he had the, he had the jewelry, he had the cars, mm -hmm. just everything was just it seemed so cool. And I was like, my dad going to work every day barely could make ends meet. Mm -hmm. You know, couldn't buy the things I wanted to buy. So I'm like, I was telling myself like, man, I don't want to live that kind of life. I want to live a life of abundance. Man. I see how I see what's out there. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And um, but I seen a lot. It's I was blessed to be able to see the, all the mistakes my brother made too. I seen what that lifestyle could do to you too, and how it could damage your family. It's not just you; it affects, it affects everybody. Yeah. So me going in, me thinking I'm just I'm smart. I'm like, hey, look, I'm gonna do it different than him. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes he did. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, I escaped that life relatively unscathed. To be honest with you, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so a day, one day I was in the streets, go beginning back to how I got into it. I saw the DJ Morrison, and I started looking into more into his life. And it was very similar to what I, what I went through, you know, mm -hmm. came from similar background. So it inspired me to get into the real estate business. And that's when I started doing my research and, you know, when I got my real, my real estate license, mm -hmm. I started selling, uh, selling help people buy and sell homes and just diving more and more into it. So that's how I originally got into the real estate business by that. And now he's like my virtual mentor. Yeah. And I've actually, I actually got to meet him, mm -hmm. you know, when, when I was watching his videos and he was talking about how, um, you know, he buys these multi-family properties. He lives in one unit and rents out the other unit. And just, they call it house hiding. So yeah. he's like, if you're gonna do that, go get your real estate license. Mm -hmm. So when you buy the house, you get the commission. So I was like, I'm gonna yeah. get a real estate license. So I took the test. I don't know. When I was taking this test and going to these classes, I was still selling drugs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, you know, but I, I, want, I want better for myself. I know I can do better. I know I can do better for my family. I know I can be more. So, mm -hmm. you know, um, I told myself if I passed the test at that time, he was going on a tour around the country. He was doing these corner classes. Mm -hmm. And he was doing like a day with Jay the next day where he could have the whole day with him and teach you about different things. So I said, if, if I pass this test, my test was like around the time he was on tour. It's like, I, my, my reward to myself is going to be go go out, fly out wherever he is and meet him. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I passed the test. I booked my flight literally like two days before he was going to be in Connecticut mm -hmm. back in 2016. And I went out there, man, and I met him and I stepped to him after he was done doing this whole thing. I was like, look, this is my situation. And I was straight up with him. Like, bro, coming out of the same environment as you coming out, coming out of, just trying to change my life, this and that. Got my number. Uh, he went. He's like, give me my number, man. Went back to my hotel. He hit me up while I was taking a shower. I got up, seen the text. He's like, let's come with me. Let's go. Let's go to the mall. Let's take a ride. And we're gonna talk about some things. So ever since then, we built a relationship. And I have his number. I can FaceTime him anytime. It's cool. Um, you know, he's just always there to help me with anything I need to be help with. So it just goes to show you, like, just me just jumping out on a leap of faith. Like I've never been in Connecticut before. I don't know anyone up there. I went up there with myself. Like I'm just gonna go meet this dude. You know, yeah. just let him. Because I feel like if he feel if he sees me, he feels my energy. He's gonna, there's gonna be a connection. Exactly. So, exactly. you know, that opened up so many doors, you know what I mean? Like, and, and, you know, I just wanna say this here too, Chris, you know, with me being in law enforcement, the majority of my career was, it was in narcotics. Right. And, and you know, there was a lot of times, man, when I used to go be out here being, when I was a sergeant or when I was a detective and, um, 
and, and uh, you know, the jump out group that I used to be in, that I used to talk to these dudes, and I used to tell them, I'm like, man, listen, you guys understand that what you're out here doing, you're already an entrepreneur. That's right. You're just doing it the wrong way. That's right. You're already, you have a product. You're selling the product. You're expanding your business. You're growing, you're scaling your business. That's right. You're marketing your business. Mm -hmm. You're getting new customers. Mm -hmm. So the thing, the way how you are applying what you're doing is the same thing that somebody's doing that owns uh, uh, BJ's or owns uh, Macy's. Mm -hmm. You are expanding, you're doing the exact same things, you're just doing it in illegal means. So, you know, if you're going out here saying, because I used to have a lot of guys say, oh man, you know what, this is, this is just how it is, or this is all I know. This may be what you know. You can't control the circumstances, but you're making a decision to stay here. That's right. You can make the decision to apply those skills in a different manner as well. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I tell people that all the time. You don't under you, know, you can't control where you come from. That's right. You can't control the circumstances. You can't control what you've been born into. Mm -hmm. But you make a decision mm -hmm. once you get old enough and you realize you to either stay there or to get out. That's right. And I'm glad you're a real live ghost, brother. <laughs> I appreciate that. But what we're going to do, we're going to go to a commercial. Remember, those that are on Facebook, you guys, like and share this video and start a watch party so people can sit up here and hear what we're going through, hear the information that we're dropping, all right? Because we're looking for those thought leaders. We're looking for those entrepreneurs. We're looking for those individuals that are out here that want their message to be out. Come be a guest on my show. If you're on YouTube, like and subscribe, click the bell so you get the notifications on when we go live. We'll be right back. What up, world? It's your boy, George Anthony, AKA Big G Anthony. Listen, I am so excited. Today is the launch of my book, The Bulletproof Mindset, Strategies for Developing a Resilient Mind. That's right, I'm an author, dog. Listen, you guys want to know the four-step process, how I change my rap to change my situation? Pre-order my book today. Go to bulletproof.biggianthony.com, bulletproof.biggianthony.com, and listen, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Big G Anthony the, the third. that's Big G Anthony the third, and on Facebook at Big G Anthony. You have to change your mindset to change your situation. And guys, remember, Massive Action Mindset is on UGT TV Network 5 every Wednesday at 7 p.m. You guys come out and watch me so you can change your situation. Until then, peace. What up, world? It's your boy, Big G Anthony. And I want to take this opportunity to show you how I can assist you in taking massive action with your goals, dreams, and aspirations. As a pilot, we have a flight plan that we must follow. What this gives us the opportunity to do is plan out our destination, our fuel, what altitude we're going to fly. How this applies to your life is that you're setting your goals and the point to where you want to get to. The flight plan allows you for initial investment of $49.99 to have a 30-minute consultation with me, a personal affirmation worksheet, and our introduction coaching video. The next step is the takeoff. Once you have your goals, dreams, and aspirations set, you know where you're going, you have to take massive action to get yourself off the runway. A plane cannot just go half throttle and gain altitude. You have to push that throttle fully forward. 
This gives you an initial investment of $249.99, which gives you a 30-minute consultation with me, a personal affirmation worksheet, four coaching videos, and a massive action mindset 90-day planner so you can set your goals down on paper and hold yourself accountable. Finally, we have the aerial. As a pilot, once I get to the altitude, I have to make micro adjustments to make sure that I stay on course. I have to adjust for the wind. I have to monitor my fuel. I have to monitor the temperatures of my engine. And how you apply that in life when it comes to your goals and the directions that you're going, you're gonna have those obstacles that come up that may knock you off path, but you have to make those micro adjustments so you make sure you stay on your destination. This is an initial investment of $499.99. What you get is an hour personal consultation with me, personal affirmation worksheet, eight coaching videos, and again, your massive action mindset 90-day planner. But wait, those that are watching my show tonight, I'm giving you a special offer. You will be able to get the takeoff, which originally is $249.99 for a $199 investment. Again, let me remind you what you get. A 30-minute personal consultation, four coaching videos, personal affirmation worksheet, and a massive action mindset 90-day planner. But I'm also going to give you something else. Those that go to my website tonight and purchase that $199 takeoff will get your free daily affirmation calendar. I look forward to seeing you guys on the other side. Continue to watch my show every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. And follow me on Facebook at Big G Anthony III and on Instagram at Big G Anthony III. Remember, you got to change your mindset to change your situation. I see you on the other side. Action. What up, world? You guys, welcome back to Massive Action Mindset. Again, I'm sitting here with my boy Chris Cadet. I'm George Anthony, aka Big G Anthony. Today, we're talking about how to go out and become a loan originator or get into flipping properties. And this man right here has a plethora of knowledge that we're going to sell, that he's going to be able to uh, provide to you. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to hand it over to Chris. And Chris, tell us, tell the people out here how they can go about um, setting up a meeting with you. You know, how how do they uh, if they want to get a loan, if they want to go and start getting into real estate investment, how will they go about partnering with you, or what information you can provide for them to lead them down that road? Okay, well, so if someone's looking to purchase their home or investment property, um, you can reach me directly. Of course, you know, at the end, I'll provide more from yeah. my information so I have my information. But uh, in terms of like the steps to purchase a home, the first thing would be to come see a guy like me, mm -hmm. a loan originator or a loan officer or a mortgage banker. And the first step is, and I talk about it in my book, is just getting a pre-approval. And what I call what I call a pre-approval is like your financial diagnosis. It's like you go into the doctor and saying, "Hey, look, there's something wrong. I need, I need, I, I want to get a checkup. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm feeling a pain." They're gonna sit there and ask you questions about how you're feeling. That's exactly what we do. We ask you questions. We pull your credit and find out what your credit looks like. And based on your credit and the questions that we ask, like income questions about how much, how much you make, and how long you've been at your job, asset questions, how much money you have saved up, and finding out where your liabilities are on your credit, mm -hmm. we can then. Get, tell you either what you're qualified for, and if you're not qualified, we can give you a blueprint. Uh, basically, steps that you can work backwards and put yourself in a position to qualify. So the first and most important step for anyone looking to purchase a home or investment property is to get go speak with a, a mortgage loan originator and get pre-approved for a mortgage and find out where you're at and find out what you need to do if you're qualified. So Chris, let me ask you this because I know that someone uh, you have some um, um, families that are out there that say, hey, you know what? I can't afford a home. However, they're paying nine hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars a month for an apartment. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what's the baseline, if you will, if there is one, when it comes to home affordability or your first home, mm -hmm. or you know, so that people, will know, you know, the individuals or the individuals that's watching this would know that, hey, you know what, there is a possibility that I can go out here and purchase my first home. Sure. Um, the main way that lenders determine 
if you're pre-approved or not, or how much you're pre-approved for, is something they call, they look at your debt to income ratio. Mm -hmm. And what that basically is, is the ratio of your income monthly to how much liabilities or debt you're paying on monthly. And ideally, you want your, your, you want your debts to not exceed 50% of your, your monthly income. So if your debts exceed 50% of your monthly income, gross, they go off of gross, um, then that's when your qualification starts to get a little tighter. So we'll look at how much you're bringing in monthly. Mm -hmm. Let's say someone's bringing in $5,000 a month. Okay. Then they'll look at all your liabilities. Mm -hmm. You know, any car payments, any student loans, any personal loans, any credit cards you're paying on. And they'll look at how much debt you're paying on monthly. And then they'll, based on how much you're paying on monthly, that lets them determine how much of a mortgage burden you can handle, how much of a monthly mortgage payment you can handle. So if it's like, this person can only handle a thousand or twelve hundred dollars more in monthly mortgage burden based on their car payment or student loans or whatever. So you know that you have to take that thirteen hundred and your mortgage mortgage payment is going to be based on thirteen hundred and your actual pre approval amount is going to be based on thirteen hundred. So a thirteen dollar thirteen hundred dollar month mortgage payment, depending on what the taxes and the insurance that there's an HOA is, be right around maybe like one seventy one sixty. Thousand dollar purchase price, so you know if there's more of a spread, then that opens you up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. You know, three hundred thousand. So less debt you have on your name, then and the more you make, of course, that will determine how much uh, you can how much you can actually afford. Okay. So that's how they calculate. Oh, that's good info to know. So basically, yeah. what you're looking at then is to make sure that your your debts do not exceed less than fifty percent or whatever your gross income. Right. Whatever, right. whatever your gross income is, split that in half and try to keep your debts under that amount. Work on paying your debts down. If anyone, I say like, even if you're looking to buy from five years from now, start just by trying to maximize your income any way you can, you know, um, second job or uh, start a business. You need to be in business two years in order to use that income. Um, you know, any way you can maximize your income, work to try to add value to yourself, get more skills so you get paid more mm -hmm. and just pay off any debt you have, you know, minimize your debt. And you, sh you shouldn't want to be walking around in all this debt anyways, unless it's your debt. Yeah. That's good debt and bad debt. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, absolutely something that you can liquidate real fast. But that's another that's another uh, all that's a whole other show we can get into. But all right, so with that then, um uh that's first property. So uh, that's a home property. So when it comes to investment property, are there different criteria when it comes to qualifying for investment property rather than uh you know, your property that you're gonna own and yeah, just your living. Yeah, with the with the investment property, typically when you get pre getting pre approved, the guidelines are much more stricter. Usually, they require, require higher credit scores, mm -hmm. and they require more more money down, and they require your debt to income ratio to be a little bit lower. They require you to have less debts actually okay. than, than you would on a personal residence because they look at it like more of a risk. It's more mm -hmm. risk because if you ever if you have investment properties mm -hmm. and you have a primary residence you're actually living in, if you ever go through any kind of financial hardships or anything, the first thing you let go is an investment property. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need somewhere to live, yeah. so there's always um, stricter qualifications when you're trying when you're looking to get pre-approved for an investment home. Okay. All right. Well, that's definitely a, a good thing to know. Mm -hmm. So those individuals that are out there <clears throat> that's looking to, do you need to be a realtor to be a, uh, to invest in property or no? no? So that's no. a huge, I'm glad you asked. That's a huge misconception. A lot of people think um, that you, and if you, when you, when you want to get, when you think about getting a real estate, mm -hmm. well, most people, the first thing they do is go get a real estate license. Yeah. That's the first thing I did. You know, my, my goal wasn't even to be a, to be a realtor. Mm -hmm. But when I heard his video, like I said, Jay Morris, I listened to his videos. He said, if you plan on buying multifamilies, get your license so that when you do purchase these multifamily homes, you can just get the commission instead of giving it. And you, that commission could go towards your down payment. Yeah. So, you know, it's less out of pocket. So that's what I did. But once I got my license and I went to the first company, which was Keller Williams, because before I even thought about getting into real estate, I always heard of Keller Williams. So I knew they were like a big brand. Mm -hmm. So I went to them and I ended up signing on with them. Their whole business model is very agent centric. It's all set on you being the best real estate agent. They train you to be an agent. So I kind of lost track of my goals at that time. I was really in it for investing, but I started thinking, hey, look, let me just learn about this realtor thing. Let me see if I can be a realtor. Let me see if I could see how this goes. So I started doing that. But you definitely don't need your real estate license if you look to invest. You can start wholesaling real estate, which is basically assigning contracts for a fee. You know, basically okay. find investors that purchase houses for cash, find homes. Distressed homes or people in or homeowners that are in distressed situations like divorce or maybe facing bankruptcy or foreclosure, 
and they want to get rid of their property, property and get in contact with that seller, you get that property on the, on the, under contract for a lower market value, and you go and sell it to an investor for uh, a good, a good enough amount for them to make their spread when they flip or they sell it. So you just assign that contract and make your fee in between. That doesn't that you don't need a license to do that. And that's a good way to you know get into the real estate business and start making you know checks and start making some money to kind of build your money up and start maybe going into investing like buying and holding properties for revenue. Right. But that, I'm glad you said that. You know when it comes to finding that the wholesale because a lot of people out here believe that you uh, you know you see these infomercials and all the little uh, uh, Facebook ads that you don't, don't no money down. I'm gonna you know, the real estate investors that come here to say, hey, I'm going to teach you how to go out here and flip property without utilizing any of your money and stuff like that. Now, is that something, is that just a fallacy or is that something that you truly can go out here and do it? That's one way you can go do it by doing the wholesale contracts that you just mentioned. This, that is definitely a possibility, but it's not as easy as they make it sound. I think that's more of like a clickbait, you know, to get you in, but it's possible with the right, um, knowledge and experience with the right knowledge base and right strategies you can make strategies you can make it happen these investors that are telling you that they can go out and do it because they have the experience number one they have the knowledge and a lot of times they have the influence to make it happen mm -hmm. but if you're someone that's just starting out and you have really no knowledge and you don't know how to really do it mm -hmm. you're gonna have to spend money on the education so it's not free you know yeah. you gotta go get educated on how to do it mm -hmm. you know um a lot of times you need to spend money on marketing because you're gonna have to market to these because we're in such a competitive market now, you have to be able to market to these sellers in order to get to find these, these, these deals, in order to make money off these deals. So marketing dollars you're gonna have to spend. But you might just slip, slip up and get lucky and just jump into the game, find someone that needs to sell a property. You know an investor that wants to buy a property by going to these real estate meetings and you meet with investors and you know what kind of properties they want and you just end up assigning the contract and getting paid. You can do it, mm -hmm. you can look, but it usually, doesn't, it usually doesn't happen that way. It takes marketing dollars and time. Experience. Really now you just mentioned something. Now I just want to sit here and just hit on this because uh, you, you said, um, um, you know, when it comes to spending money, you know, spending money on, on, on education, you know, educating yourself. I wanted to put this out here so that everyone, and, you know, again, you know, what I'm going to get, I'm going to give me a massive action mindset, uh, a nugget. I'm going to die gold. So when I go get ready to drop a nugget, I'm going to drop it right here. So you guys know, oh, listen to this nugget I'm about to drop. But no, this is what I want to say, that when it comes to spending money, everyone, you know, when you, inf when, when you go out and you get knowledge for yourself, when you go read a book, when you go to an event, when you go to a training, when you pay a coach to hold you accountable, that's not spending money, people. That's investing in yourself. That's right. It's an investment mm -hmm. because you're investing in that knowledge to develop a skill that you're never going to be able to, that you're not going to forget. No one can ever take that away from you. Right. So when you when you look at these things, you got to change that mindset. The poverty mindset is that oh, I'm spending this money on something, mm -hmm. or I'm paying this person for something. Mm -hmm. No, no, you are investing in yourself. You are investing to go to this event. You are investing to go to this training. You are investing to get this coach. You are investing to go to Connecticut so that you can meet your mentor right. that you had on, uh, uh, that, that you saw on YouTube, mm -hmm. who now you develop a relationship with that you can FaceTime and call up. That, in my opinion, is priceless. And I just want to jump in because I got excited now. I got nuggets going. <laughs> but like, that's very true. And like honestly, based on that move that I made, not me telling him, and he's seen my fire. That's what established our little connection. He's like, yo, this dude is serious, man. Exactly. You caught a plane. You bought the hotel, you bought the ticket to my event to come and meet me. So I let you know you're serious. You're, you're willing to invest in yourself. You're not just like, uh, you know, when are you gonna be on YouTube? You're not inboxing me on I no, I'm going to see you to let you know that like, I'm serious. And um I wanted to touch on something else you said too. I remember my old boy this time we were having a conversation with a few guys. And this might sound crazy to some people, but we're having a conversation about, you know, money and you know, we're you know, we're trying to close deals and stuff like that. Like, man, I wish I could just get a million dollars right now. And you know, everyone just wants the money. And you said something that's important, but the knowledge is more important. And I remember me, not to say that I'm better than anyone or like, but this is this is just my thought process. Like I was like, you know what? I don't think I would really, really even want this all that money just dropped on me like that. You know, in, in terms of me succeeding in this business, this mortgage business, this real estate business. I would rather, because I have so much confidence in myself and my abilities and I know how hard I hustle with my ambition. I know I'm gonna get there anyways. Yeah. 
I'm gonna become something by getting there that you will never have just by getting the money sent you. Because it's the experiences, it's the things you go through, it's the things you learn along the way that no one ever can take. If you just give me a million dollars and I have the experience, I lose that million dollars, I can't get it back. But if I go through this, these, all these experiences and I climb this mountain and I get to the top, I know what it takes to get there. So if everything ever happens, I can get there again. Exactly. That's why I was like, yo, I wouldn't want the money. I would want, I want to grind my way because I know I'll get there. Mm -hmm. My experiences, you can never take that away from me. The knowledge, you can never take that away from me. Look, if I had that nugget, I'd drop it. <laughs> <laughs> because that's what he's saying. It's the process. It's the process. It's the process. We mentioned, I mentioned this on one of my shows before. That's why you have individuals that go out and that win the lottery and they got 40, 50 million dollars. Yeah, that money can sit, that's generational money. That's money if you invest it the right way that can set not only your family up now, but your family for generations down the road if you knew how to invest it, how to take care of it, and how to become that person that's a 50 million dollar, that's a 50 million dollar millionaire. That's right. The problem is, it's that you have individuals that win that type of money but their mindset mm -hmm. is not a $50 million millionaire. Right. Their mindset is still a $30,000 employee. Mm -hmm. So when you get that $50 million and you have a $30,000 mindset, you're going to do $30,000 mindset things mm -hmm. that will again bring that $50 million down back to that $30,000 mindset. Mm -hmm. So you have to go through that process in order to get to that fifty million dollar mindset, in order to maintain that fifty million dollars, amen. Boom. Drop that nugget, exactly. Massive action mindset nugget right there. All right. With that being said, we're going to go to commercial. When we get back, we're going to talk about Chris's book, how he got into this, how he wrote it. But you guys that are on Facebook, remember to like, share, and make sure you start a watch party so individuals here can get this knowledge that we're sitting here dropping. Because again, what this is for you. We're here doing this for you, providing as much value as we can so that you can go out here and attain your dreams, goals, and aspirations. Those that are on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, click the bell so you know when we drop a new. Every Wednesday at 7 p.m., Massive Action Mindset. See you after the commercial. What up, world? It's your boy, George Anthony, a.k.a. Big G Anthony. Listen, I am so excited. Today is the launch of my book, The Bulletproof Mindset, Strategies for Developing a Resilient Mind. That's right. I'm an author, dog. Listen, you guys want to know the four-step process, how I change my rap to change my situation? Pre-order my book today. Go to bulletproof.biggianthony.com, bulletproof.biggianthony.com, and listen, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Big G Anthony the Third. that's Big G Anthony the Third, and on Facebook at Big G Anthony. You have to change your mindset to change your situation, and guys, remember, Massive Action Mindset is on UGT TV. Network 5, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. You guys come out and watch me so you can change your situation. Until then, peace. What up, world? It's your boy, George Anthony, a.k.a. Big G Anthony. Again, we're down here having this just energetic conversation with my boy, Chris Cadet. Well, we're back, and what I'm going to do right now, Chris is going to get into his book, how you can get it, what it's about, and how you can contact him and his information so he can provide you with uh, his loan origination services and investment property services, those individuals that want to sit here and reach out to him. So Chris, you know what, go ahead on man, let him know what the book is about. Okay, so I guess I'll just start off, start off with you know, how I got into actually wanting to write the book. You know, go ahead, that's talking fine. About. Um, basically, I wrote this book for four reasons, man. Um, the number one reason and how 
I actually got into was because every time I interviewed with a client about buying a home, mm -hmm. or I had a conversation with someone about buying a home or a rest apartment, I would always ask them, uh, you know, why do you why do you want to own a home or someone that owns a home? Why do you own a home? And it's never the reason I wanted to hear. Mm -hmm. You know, selfish as that may sound, it's never the reason. So. I wanted to write this book so that home owners or aspiring homeowners could change their mindset about home ownership. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for me, I realized how powerful home ownership is with my parents. Both of my parents, back then it was much easier to get a house though, you know, mm -hmm. but, but they both purchased their homes. We rented for a little while and they both purchased their homes after that. And me, when I got into the real estate industry, mm -hmm. I realized how powerful it is that my dad and my mom purchased their home. You know, at this point, my pops, his home, his home is paid off. You know what I mean? Over yeah. here, because it's been 20 some years. Home's paid off now. Mm -hmm. So, me understanding the business now, I'm able to leverage that home, the equity in that home, um, to go make other purchases. Or, God forbid anything happen to him, that property's can be passed down to me, and I go out buy my own property. I'll always be able to get rental income from that property to, to supplement my income. Yeah. And now, I want, and so I wanted homeowners to get into the mindset of that. Like, when you buy a home, Oh, that's why it says real estate is the world open the doors to inter intergenerational wealth. When you buy a home, you literally open the doors to intergenerational wealth, mm -hmm. to uh, uh, intergenerational wealth for your family. Mm -hmm. Because just by you simply owning the roof over your head that you have to pay for it anyways, either you're going to be renting or you're going to pay, in the way you're renting, you're probably paying someone else's mortgage. Exactly. You know, by you owning your home and just making the payments, going to work every day, living a normal life, making the payments, you build equity, you, you basically open the door to intergenerational, intergenerational wealth for your family because God forbid anything happen to you. Or later, if you pay the house to off over 15 to 30 years, you can always pass that down and your child could meet the benefits of that property. Right? They tap into the equity, go making more investments and building a real estate portfolio. They have to have the knowledge, of course. Or just them buying their their property by educating them on the importance. And by the sixth, seventh, eighth generation, if, if everyone just did this, made a conscious effort to do the simple fact of just owning the roof over the head, you could change the whole wealth dynamic of your family just by simply paying for the roof over your head that you have to pay for anyways. You know, so. Six, fifth, fifth, six, seven generation, you guys are five, six, seven houses in. Mm -hmm. All that rental income coming in. If you have the right strategies, tap into that equity, go make more investment. You can change the whole wealth dynamic of your family just by owning a roof over your head. Not to mention all the tax advantages, um, power and control, uh, so many other different advantages, the write offs that come with owning homes and investment property that people don't know about. So that's the main reason I wanted to write it. Like, look, just change your mindset about home ownership and look at it as says as you're actually becoming a hero for your family mm -hmm. by opening the doors to intergenerational wealth. The second reason I wrote it is because I'm in a loan origination business. I'm in a real estate business, right? I help people get loans for homes and investment properties. We're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Everyone does this, mm -hmm. you know? So it's not easy. It's not hard to find a loan, loan officer. It's easy. Yeah. So I, I thought about, I thought about you know, what can I do to separate myself from the crowd? You know, and I learned from actually my virtual mentor that the, the most important piece of content you can have is a book. You know, because that, va that instantly validates yourself. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you know what, how could I add more value? How could I come step to someone and give them more than just a business card? We were talking earlier, and we are like, yo, this is like the new business card now, it you know, is. a book. It so is. I was like, you know what, let me, let me, let me buckle down and let me write this book. And I want to say, I don't want to make it seem like I'm better than anyone, or like, because it, it doesn't, it is, it's not, anyone could have done this, really. mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of people have the knowledge, but it's taking the time to actually write it and going through the stress of writing it and structuring it that I did that makes it different. But it's not like any, a lot of people have this knowledge that are in this industry have this knowledge, but it's just yeah. my perspective and it's unique to me. Yeah. So that's yeah. the second reason I wrote it is because I wanted to add that, uh, that piece of value to people. And the third reason it really is because we talked earlier, man, I love reading. I read a lot of books. I'm constantly trying to educate myself and get better, man. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? I want to be an author. I want to see my name on the book and I want to be able to say, look, I authored something. This is mine, you know, and I pass on, you know, my kids get out. Hey, man, my uncle or my, my, you know, my, uh, my grandpa wrote this yeah. book. You know, it's always going to be here. Yeah. So that's, that's nothing. It's like a legacy thing for me. A little yeah. selfish little play for me. I wanted to, you know, feel good about myself writing the book. That's hey, it. nothing wrong with that, man. You got to yeah. sit up here and love yourself and put things out that's going to sit here and build yourself up as well. So mm -hmm. ain't nothing wrong with that. My book will be out pretty soon as too. Uh, Congratulations, man. I appreciate that. Excellent. Yes, yeah, so those are the, those are the three main reasons I wrote it, and um, it's basically and like I said, and, you know, to answer your question, I wrote it. Um, it goes over basically everything. It goes over the why home ownership, um, the importance of home home ownership in this country. Mm -hmm. um, like Kanye West in his recent interview, I know there's a lot of controversy, controversy behind Kanye West, but I don't care what they're saying. If he says something true, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak it. Yeah. He said that America's for sale. Mm -hmm. America is for sale. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and there ain't real estate is the world. 
real estate is the world. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you wake up in a house or apartment that's real estate. You go to church, and I learned this from my mentor. You go to church, that piece of church is real estate. You go to the, you get injured, you gotta go to the hospital, that hospital is real estate. Mm -hmm. You go drop your kids off at, to, to, to school before you go to work, that school is real estate. Mm -hmm. So the real estate is everywhere. You can't escape it. You know what I mean? You're doing it really. You're either on the renting side or you're on the owning side. Of course, and, I, I got to throw this thing in, man. I didn't interrupt you, but you know, that's exactly what uh, the owner of uh, a McDonald's said, Ray Kroc. That's what right. he says. Are we in the business of making hot burgers? Oh, absolutely not. He says, we're in the real estate business. Right. Well, every McDonald's is at, is at a point where nobody, everyone is going to see it. Prime real estate. Prime real estate. <laughs> prime, but you have to, I believe in order to own a McDonald's, or even build one, it has to, they have to go out and look at the site that, that, that you're, you're, you're looking to build before right. you to approve it. Amen. But yeah, so that, I, I, you're absolutely right about that, man. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But I mean, that's, that's, that, that's fine. That's, you, you made a great point. And um, that's why I have a ball on my finger right here, that it's like the whole world is one big ball of real estate. And we're constantly producing more of everything. But God ain't making no more land. Mm -hmm. It ain't like no, no piece of land is gonna appear. No, this is all the land we got. Yes. People are living longer now. You know, and, and, and especially down here in South Florida, the demand for housing is so high that's driving the prices up. Mm -hmm. And the fact that so many people are moving down here. Mm -hmm. So it's supply and demand. There's always gonna be demand for housing. So if you own, it's like Monopoly. We were learning about real estate playing Monopoly. We didn't even know, mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. So. That's, that's should be one of the prerequisites and one of the basics of family wealth. And one thing, another thing is like uh, life insurance. You know, that life insurance and home ownership is like two just basic needs for every family, two prerequisites for every family. We should always learn like, about life insurance and owning real estate. Yeah, that's because it is African Americans. That's you know, right. American, we don't do, we mm -hmm. don't get life insurance. Exactly. We don't, we don't invest in that. And then when we look at it, it's too late because now if you have the high blood pressure, you have the diabetes, you have all these health issues that drive a premium up that's right. that costs more. Mm -hmm. So it's best to get it now, whether or not just turn old. Exactly. But yeah, that's another that's and another And thing. me, that's I'm just learning about it. Yeah. I do seminars with a guy named Clarence Brock, and he's a financial advisor. See, I'm shouting him out too, so you owe me Clarence. <laughs> you know? So I'm learning more about the life insurance things because to be honest with you, I don't have life insurance to be honest with you. With you. My, my dad and my, my mom does, mm -hmm. but I don't, honestly, I don't think my mom, I know my dad does. So I'm, he, I'm, he's opening my eyes now to life insurance, doing these seminars. I'm sitting there learning and studying. I'm like, man, you know, wow, I need to get some life insurance because this is very important. So home ownership, life insurance is very two important things that home owner, that, that families need to take advantage of, mm -hmm. you know, because it's about passing down wealth. Wealth is not built over one generation usually. Very rarely you find wealth built over one generation. It's generational. Mm -hmm. So we have to be in very intentional about educating ourselves it's about do strat wealth strategies, different wealth strategies in this country to be able to pass that down to our kids. Financial Those literacy. Are too simple. Financial literacy. Financial literacy. Financial literacy. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. All right. What we're going to do right now, we're going to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. We're going to the hangar. Chris is going to come back and give you guys three actionable steps that you can start taking to get into um, home investment. Home, home ownership. Home ownership. Home ownership. Home ownership and home investing. Three actionable steps like we always do. We'll be right back after this commercial. Remember, those that are on Facebook, like and share and start a watch party. And those that are on YouTube, make sure you like, subscribe, and click the bell so that you get notifications when we're here at Wednesday, 7 p.m. Massive Action Mindset. See you after the commercial. What up, world? It's your boy, George Anthony, a.k.a. Big G Anthony. Listen, I am so excited. Today is the launch of my book, The Bulletproof Mindset, Strategies for Developing a Resilient Mind. That's right. I'm an author, dog. Listen, you guys want to know the four-step process, how I change my rap to change my situation? Pre-order my book today. Go to bulletproof.biggianthony.com, bulletproof.biggianthony.com. And listen, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Big G Anthony the, the Third. That's Big G Anthony the Third. And on Facebook at Big G Anthony. You have to change your mindset to change your situation. And guys, remember, Massive Action Mindset is on UGT TV Network 5 every Wednesday at 7 p.m. You guys come out and watch me so you can change your situation. Until then, peace.
back to Massive Action Mindset. Man, you know what? This last hour we've been sitting here talking to Chris Cadet, dropping some nuggets on how to go out here and become an entrepreneur in the real estate uh, uh, property investment niche. What Chris is going to do now, because this is the hanger portion of the show, he's going to give you three actionable steps for any lay person who wants to start out either buying a home, buying their first home, or investing in their first property. He's gonna give you three steps that you can start now to take down this road so that you can get yourself your first home or your first investment property. So I'll let Chris get to it. All right, thank you so much. It's been a great show, man. I just really, really enjoyed it. I hope to be back soon with another one, maybe hopefully to get my way in and work my way in. <laughs> but um, three, three steps, basically, I would say, the first step would be to just get pre-approved. If you are interested in investing, or buying a home, just go, just walk into a local bank or call up an loan originator like myself and get my information. Just ask me questions and find out where you are. Find out what you need to do to put yourself in position to either buy a home or or, or, or uh, an investment property. Because you have to know where you're at. If you don't know where you're at, you just you can be spinning your wheels and you never reach your your your, uh, your your goal. So just find out where you're at, get pre-approved, and get get educated on what you need to do to put yourself in position. Number two, I would be I would say. Two things would you would you need to do. Follow those steps that you got from your uh, your loan originator or whoever your mentor is. It have to be me. Follow those steps and educate yourself. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. Read books. There's books everywhere. There's libraries. There's YouTube now. There's so many resources. We have our phones. Just immerse yourself into what it is you want. Learn about it so that you can make good decisions. You know, learn, read books, and invest in your knowledge. Mostly on the investing side, on the home ownership side is a bit more simple. So your your uh, whatever professional you see, like myself, I'll give you the steps that you need to put, do to put yourself in position. If you're looking to do investing, I'll say save as much money as possible. Possible, keep on saving, um, and, and invest in your learning. Invest in your learning. I'll say that's number two. Number three would be to uh, either get get my book too. You read my book. <laughs> you want to learn about home ownership? Read, buy my book. And I no seriously, I I'm gonna quote myself, but I literally break down everything you need to know about. Uh, owning a home, the benefits, the power of ownership, and how exactly you go about making is making it possible. And I even talk about the some of the common pitfalls that people uh, face when uh, home ownership is in reach that you need to avoid. So I break it down really, really good. Uh, if I should say so myself, it's it's structured very well and it's very easy and relatable. You know, because I know what people need to hear. Because I've been in the, 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 the space as a, a realtor and also a loan officer helping people. Um, you know, get financing for home. So I would say read a book, but just the two most important things, get pre-approved and start investing in your knowledge and continue to save as much possible, save as, save as much money as possible and uh, limiting your liabilities. Any, your, your credit, pay off any derogatory accounts or get those, getting derogatory accounts back in uh, good standards, um, get your credit cleaned up and just just uh, limit your liabilities, pay off any bad loans, bad debt you have, just continue to repeat your income. I'll say the three main things. Alright, so look at three main steps just to sit up here and reiterate and repeat it will be to go out and get yourself pre-approved, educate yourself, and get yourself Chris's book so he can get here and lay down the information on the steps you need to take to go out and get yourself pre-approved or start investing in property. But that being said, man, that's a great segue into tell everybody how they can contact you. Give them your uh, email address, your your Instagram, your social media accounts, your uh, your website, so that they know how to reach out and get in contact with you. Okay, so if you want to get in contact with me, there's different ways. Uh, my, my my website is www.chriscadet.net. Um, it's not really too flashy. It's a very plain, simple website that lets you know a little bit about me and what I do. And my book is also also available on the site. My email is info at chriscadet.net. That's just info, I-N-F-O, at chriscadet.net. You can email me. Um, I'm on Instagram, just regular Chris Cadet. Facebook, Chris Cadet, <laughs> LinkedIn, Chris Cadet, everything is Chris Cadet. Very simple to reach out to me. And um, just, I'm just, just, just to kind of end it, I don't want to be too long-winded, but I mean, like I said, there's so many people that do what I do, but the difference with me is that I'm very passionate about helping. Um, I want, I really, really want to give back because I've been blessed to come out of the situation I was in. To, and I want to help other people that came out of my situation understand that we do have other options out there. And that's, that's like my, my gospel, you know what I mean, outside of, you know, my faith. Um, and that's why I follow Mr. J. Morrison because he's really changing the game. A lot of us, you know, there's a lot of problems in this world, but my, the problem I can feel like I can really relate to is people 
feel like that feel like they, the street life is the only life they can live, which is yeah. not cool. You know, yeah. it's costing families and it's costing lives. So we're really trying to change that and show our young people and just people that are colorblind that they have other options. So I'm just someone that's trying to get back and it's very passionate. And you know, I'm just a cool, laid back guy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's the perfect ending to all uh, to, to this show because that's what this show is all about. Like I said before, I've said I'm gonna say it again. Well, this show was created to provide value. This show was created to bring individuals like Chris on here that could provide and drop knowledge to you to get you moving in a direction that will benefit you, your family, your kids, your great grandkids down the road. Because one of my online mentors said has said that that wages, profits are better than wages. Wages will make you a living. Profits will make you a fortune. And that's what this is all about. If we work a nine to five, we're just going to work a nine to five. We have to start figuring out a way to go out and create other sources of income. Mm -hmm. Most millionaires have seven. Why are we depending on one? Because that's indoctrination. That's what we've been taught, just to go out and get a job, work this job for the next 20 to 35 years. When it comes to the uh, media flashing things up, when it comes to materialism, getting us, hey, what's important is a car, the gold, the, the, the shoes, when it should be putting, building something, building a foundation so that our kids can start off at a different level than what we started off. Our great grandkids can start off at a different level than our kids started off. That's what this is all about. Why do you think the Rockefellers, the Kennedys, why do you think we know them? Because their families left them something. That's right. Besides debt, they left them money. And that's what this show is all about. This show is to sit here and bring thought leaders such as Chris, individuals that are here that wants to provide and give you guys knowledge so you can take action on your goals, dreams, and aspirations. So if you are, a coach, if you are a promoter, if you are an author, if you are an entrepreneur, and you want to come on to put your message out here, you guys can get in touch with me at biggianthony.com, www.biggianthony.com. Hit the Massive Action uh, link. There's a questionnaire that you fill out, and somebody from my team will reach out to you, and we will interview you to get you here on the show. All right? My Instagram is Big G Anthony. My Facebook is Big G Anthony. And you can follow me on uh, Facebook and YouTube. The show, if you guys are looking at the show on Facebook, make sure you like, share, and, and, and let people know that we're putting this out here for you guys. If you're on YouTube, subscribe, like, and click the button so you know that we'll be here every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Until then, I'll see you guys next week. Remember, you gotta change your mindset to change your situation. Thank you all. Out. What up, world? It's your boy, Big G Anthony, and I want to take this opportunity to show you how I can assist you in taking massive action with your goals, dreams, and aspirations. As a pilot, we have a flight plan that we must follow. What this gives us the opportunity to do is plan out our destination, our fuel, what altitude we're going to fly. How this applies to your life is that you're setting your goals and the point to where you want to get to. The flight plan allows you for initial investment of $49.99 to have a 30-minute consultation with me, a personal affirmation worksheet, and our introduction coaching video. The next step is the takeoff. Once you have your goals, dreams, and aspirations set, you know where you're going, you have to take massive action to get yourself off the runway. A plane cannot just go half throttle and gain altitude. You have to push that throttle fully forward. This gives you initial investment of $249.99, which gives you a 30-minute consultation with me, a personal affirmation worksheet, four coaching videos, and a massive action mindset 90-day planner so you can set your goals down on paper and hold yourself accountable. Finally, we have the aerial. As a pilot, once I get to the altitude, I have to make micro adjustments to make sure that I stay on course. I have to adjust for the wind. I have to monitor my fuel. I have to monitor the temperatures of my engine. 
and how you apply that in life when it comes to your goals and the directions that you're going, you're going to have those obstacles that come up that may knock you off path, but you have to make those micro adjustments so you make sure you stay on your destination. This is an initial investment of $499.99. What you get is an hour personal consultation with me, personal affirmation worksheet, eight coaching videos, and again, your massive action mindset 90-day planner. But wait, those that are watching my show tonight, I'm giving you a special offer. You will be able to get the takeoff, which originally is $249.99 for $199 investment. Again, let me remind you what you get. A 30-minute personal consultation, four coaching videos, personal affirmation worksheet, and a massive action mindset 90-day planner. But I'm also going to give you something else. Those that go to my website tonight and purchase that $199 takeoff will get your free daily affirmation calendar. I look forward to seeing you guys on the other side. Continue to watch my show every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. And follow me on Facebook at Big G Anthony III and on Instagram at Big G Anthony III. Remember, you got to change your mindset to change your situation. I see you on the other side. What up, world? It's your boy, George Anthony, a.k.a. Big G Anthony. Listen, I am so excited. Today is the launch of my book, The Bulletproof Mindset, Strategies for Developing a Resilient Mind. That's right. I'm an author, dog. Listen, you guys want to know the four-step process, how I change my rap to change my situation? Pre-order my book today. Go to bulletproof.biggianthony.com, bulletproof.biggianthony.com, and listen, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Big G Anthony the, the Third. that's Big G Anthony the Third, and on Facebook at Big G Anthony. You have to change your mindset to change your situation, and guys, remember, Massive Action Mindset is on UGT TV. Network 5, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. You guys come out and watch me so you can change your situation. Until then, peace.